Here's a quick review of multiplication. The first number in multiplication tells you how many groups you got to form. Actually, what the symbol that tells you that you got to form groups to begin with is the multiplication symbol. This here tells you you got to make groups. This tells you three. So we have to make three groups of two. So going back in time here, when you started learning this, your teacher probably got you to make these groups. Here's a group, and we got, oh, by the way, this here is, we got to put two in each group. So we have two here. Here's a group of two. We can circle it to indicate that it's a group of two. And here's another group of two. So we have our second group. And then we got to make a third group of two. And that's how you multiply. You got to count them all, and you say you got six, and we'll write that six down there and that's our answer. Now here we have two groups instead of three groups which we had in the last question here we've got two groups so we can decide that we gotta put three inside of each group we'll go here's a group of three. How many groups do I have to make? I made one here I gotta make two that's the two here so I've gotta make a second group of three and put them down and we just count them all and again, we get the answer six. Three and three is six. The only difference between these two is that the digits are flipped. Here we have three times two, whereas now we've got two times three. And the answer doesn't ever change when you do that in multiplication. That's important to know. That's called the commutative property. Commutative. Commutative property of multiplication, which simply states if you flip the digits around and you multiply, the answer doesn't ever change. How does this strategy work with integers? It's the same idea with two differences. Now we have positive and negative numbers, so we can use, we might need to bring in these negative tiles, and we have to use them with these positives. The second difference is, you now have to look at that front symbol. It's either gonna be a positive or a negative. If it is a positive, you're going to write add. Okay, don't worry about what that means now. I'll show you what it means in a second. Then you underline these two. And this tells you three groups. So just like the last questions we did, these two combined tell us how many groups we have to form. And then this one here tells us how many belong in each group. We need two negatives inside of each group. So simply we'll have to read it now together. It says add three groups of negative two. Say that again to yourself. Say, add three groups of negative two and try to understand what that means. It means you have to add groups onto your paper. So we'll add a group of positives? No, we gotta add a group of negatives. Here's a group of negative two. We'll circle it. So you know what add means. It just means put pieces down. Here's a second group of negative two. We'll circle it. And here it looks like an equal sign. And here's a third group of negative two. And we'll circle it. So these are six negatives. If you count them all, it looks like six negatives. And we'll write it and put it in brackets because these two are in brackets. So the answer should be in brackets. How about this one here? There's no symbol in between the numbers. I'm going to use the analogy that's used often called the forgetful mathematician analogy. The mathematician forgot to put the symbol and whenever he forgets to put the symbol he always means multiply. That's what he was trying to get the message across is multiply so he really meant to put it there but he forgot. He never forgets to put division symbols or addition or subtraction he just forgets the, that multiplication symbol. So just realize that if there's no symbol multiply them. Let's read this. You're going to point at this one and you're gonna say add. Then you're gonna underline this and you're gonna say three groups. And then you're gonna look at this and you're gonna say there's gonna be four negatives inside of each group that we add. Adding groups is simple, you just add those groups. We need to add now either positives or negatives. Which one, positives or negatives? We have to add negatives because look, it says negative four in each group. Three groups of negative four. So we'll put a first group of negative four Here's our first group. We'll circle it to indicate that it's independent of the other groups. And uh, let's, let's split these two so we don't overlap them. And then I can take a shortcut. I can just go like this. Here's my second group of negative four. 
and then I need to make a third group of negative four. I've added three groups of negative four. There was nothing there to begin with, and now I've added groups, and we see we have 12 of them, and they're all negatives. So we will write negative 12, put it in brackets, because all these other ones in brackets, and that's our answer. It's not that hard, hey? So far, so good. Let's kick it up a notch. This does not say add anymore. It says take away. Now think about what take away means. I'm going to finish writing this down. We have to take away, underline this one, this says three groups. And this one says we need two in each group. Negative two in each group. Negative two in each group. Excuse my writing, please. So there's a problem here. See, in the last question, it asked us to add pieces. It asked us to add groups. Now it's saying take away groups. Do you see what the problem is? There's no groups to take away. There's nothing here that we can grab and take away. So you know what we'll do? We will add those groups in there. Uh, uh, but Mr. Mellum, it says you can't add. It's okay. What we need to do is create zeros. Remember a positive and negative? They go, they zap each other out. This is nothing. There is nothing on this page right now. This is an illusion. These pieces don't exist. Look what I'm going to do. Do you agree there is still nothing on the page? There is a group of nothing in here. It's a group with zero inside. This positive kills off this negative. This positive kills off this negative. But now I've created a situation where I can go into this group of nothing and take away negative tiles. Ah, now it's starting to make sense. Okay, but I need more. I need to take away three groups of negative twos. So I'll have to add more groups of nothing. So I add a second group over here, put them down. See this group? Do you see anything in there? I, I don't see anything. There's nothing in there. Here's another group of three. Or a group of two, I mean. I just need negative twos in there. See, this says there has to be negative twos inside. So let's circle this. I've created three groups of nothing. There is nothing in there. Whatever you see is an illusion. Let's get rid of those. Take away those groups now. Take away those three groups of negative two. Here's a group of negative two. Gone. Here's another group of negative two. It's gone. Here's another group. My third group of negative two. It's gone. In fact, I will make sure they're gone. They're completely obliterated. What do you see left over? Positive six. Let's move on to this one. This one, okay. Let's move on to this one. This one says add. This one says the mathematician forgot his symbol again. That's okay. We got three groups. And there has to be positive two inside of each one, but we're gonna add them. We don't need to make groups of nothing anymore. We just gotta add what they asked us to add. We'll add a group of two. Here's a group of positive two. Circle him. We gotta add more. We gotta add three groups. So here's my second group of positive two, and here's my third group of positive two. You see how this is no different than just saying three times two? Look at that. I get positive six again. So negative three times negative two makes positive six. Positive three and positive two makes positive six. Interesting. We're gonna look at those quick shortcuts later on in, in a future lesson. But for now, understand how to represent these. Let's move on to this one. Uh oh, we got that takeaway. It's okay. We know how to do this now. We got to take away what? We got to take away four groups. We got to take four groups away. Ah, oh, but there's nothing there. That's all right. We got to take away four groups of positive two. So we have to create groups of nothing. There has to be positive two in this group of nothing. So I'll go like this. Here's a group of nothing. See, there's nothing in there. It's zero. But there's positive two. But see, we can take positive two away in a bit. 
I have to create more though. I got to take four of these invisible groups away. So I'll go like this. Here's my second one. I'll make a third one here. And I'll make my fourth one down there. So, so far so good. I've got groups of nothing, which is what I started with. I haven't really added anything. I didn't break the rules. It says take away things. Okay, well, I, I didn't add not, I didn't add anything yet. It's just nothing there. But now I can take away four groups of positive two. Here's a group of positive two. Here's a group of positive two. Here's my third group coming up. And my fourth group, got a dead pile of positives. Let's obliterate them. We get negative eight left over. Put it in brackets and you're good to go. Now we have one more to go. We have a group we have to take away. We got to take away something. We got to take away one group. One group of what? Negative five. So I need to, there's nothing to take away. So I got to create an invisible group. I've got to create something to take away without really changing anything. So I'll go, here's my group of negative five coming up. And here's my fifth one. I'll counterbalance them with these positives. And now I've got a group of nothing. Okay, so I haven't really damaged anything. It's still nothing in front of me, but now I can take away those five negatives. I gotta take away one group of negative five. Here's a group of, oh, don't take away the group of positives. Take away the group of negatives. Take them away. Here's a group, it's one group. They were together. Obliterate them, answer, positive five. Ah!